Now, have you ever considered the possibility that you could be deficient in vitamin D? In winter especially, it's super important for our well-being. Our natural health guest is from Health 2000's Solgar range of products. Gary Van Dyke joins me in the Harvey Norman Lounge. Good morning. Good morning, Mel. How are you? I'm very, very well. Hopefully getting enough vitamin D as well. What happens if we don't get enough vitamin D? Well, in some cases, it's easier to tell you what happens when we don't or when we do yep. get enough because it's so vast. Um, we can uh, start experiencing mood disorders, hormone imbalances, cardiovascular concerns, uh, obviously bone issues as well, which we'll talk about later. Um, so vitamin D is such an important nutrient because it's actually not a vitamin, it's a hormone. Um, and it's a hormone that works with the uptake of calcium and phosphorus, which are two very important minerals. So it kind of orchestrates and governs that uptake. And uh, when we start um, bringing in the calcium that we need, it starts trickling into other areas of the body and other areas of health. Mm. And, uh, That's really okay. interesting too that it's called a vitamin and it's actually a hormone. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. traditionally get it from the sun. In New Zealand we obviously get a lot of sun, so are we yeah. getting enough vitamin D that way? Well, we can bring in vitamin D naturally in two different ways. One is diet, and uh, we'll touch on that first. And diet, we're going to find that in the cold water fish, the oily fish, mostly from the northern hemisphere. Uh, we can also get it from egg yolks, kind of that sunny, uh, uh, bright colored yolk. Um, and in uh, the plant foods, we can find it in leafy greens, spirulina, chlorella, etc. Um, obviously, we're not usually bringing in enough uh, out of the diet, sadly. Now, the other form, as you touched on, is the sun, and we're blessed to live in a very sunny country. Mm. However, uh, it comes down to geography, really. 35 degrees uh, north or south of the equator is uh, kind of where the uh, what we call the azimuth, so it's where the sun comes in um, on that angle. Now, at that, at 35 degrees, our body is able to uh, get enough UVB rays to actually interact with the cholesterol that lies just underneath the skin. Okay. Now, that actually is what heads the liver and creates that wonderful hormone or vitamin, vitamin D. But Auckland sits at 36 degrees. We're actually outside of that 35 degrees. Okay. So in the winter months, it's a lot harder to make that vitamin D. Now, when we think about Wellington, we're at 41, Ooh, okay. Christchurch, 43. Well, interestingly enough, 43 degrees south of the equator is the same number of degrees north of the equator as my home uh, town of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Okay. And we know that Canadians don't make enough vitamin D in the wintertime. Um, so we're so really not going to be getting enough from the sun. Not in the wintertime, yeah. Uh, so mm. you mentioned the wintertime and you mentioned moods too. So going into these cold, dark months that we've got that's ahead right. of us, uh, do we really need to what do we need to be thinking about? Uh, well, that's, that's what we call SAD or Seasonal Affective Disorder. Yes, I've and lived in Stockholm for a year. I know what that is. Yep, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, they've got a big issue up that, that way, mm. for sure. Um, now, interestingly enough, when we're thinking about low moods and that whole SAD or Seasonal Affective Disorder, um, it doesn't only affect us in the wintertime when we're looking at low levels of vitamin D. Vitamin D actually works uh, on a enzyme that uh, helps create and regulate dopamine. Now, dopamine is a neurotransmitter in the brain that gives us that sensation of pleasure. So low vitamin D, low levels of that sensation of pleasure. Also, it works on uh, two hormones called noradrenaline and uh, adrenaline, sorry. Um, and those are the stress hormones. So you might notice in the wintertime, you might be a little bit short with your coworkers or family. You feel stressed and not so happy. So tell me about this product that you brought in. So what we've got here is vitamin D from Solgard. It's vitamin D3 form. This is actually from fish. It's 1000 IU and it just helps uh, supplement the diet. When we're not getting enough in the foods, this is going to help out. Now back in 2012, there was a uh, study done uh, down here in Australasia about how much uh, vitamin D we're actually getting dietarily. And they're saying only five to 10% of the vitamin D is coming in from our diet. So we're actually, most of us are walking around deficient, sadly. Wow, and probably yeah. a lot of people don't really realize it, they're just That's thinking it. they're not feeling so good. Is it important to get more as we get older? Yes, it is. As we get older, we lose the ability um, to absorb a lot of these nutrients in the digestive tract. Vitamin D being an oil-soluble or fat-soluble nutrient is one of them. Also, as we get older, we tend to have to regulate our temperature a little bit. And we have to do a lot of things as we get older. Yeah, Gary. and, and well, we're put, we tend to run a bit cooler, don't mm. we? So uh, we tend to dress a bit warmer, even in the summer months. So when we start burying that skin, or sorry, covering up that skin, no longer can those vitamin B, uh, uh, UV, sorry, UVB rays hit the skin mm. and convert that cholesterol into the vitamin D we need. So it's a lot harder to meet those, uh, meet those marks. 
and when you get a bit older. That is fascinating. I did not know this at all. Thank you so much for joining us oh, today. You're more than welcome. Thanks for having me. And Gary has brought along Solgar's vitamin D3 for everyone in the audience today. And it is available at Health 2000 stores. Just ask their friendly staff to point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm.